Yes, well, of course, it's all heading here. And I did discover eventually that Ron Radford had a recipe, and a very good one, too. It's for snapper baked with lemon and spice. First to the fish. A whole snapper is used, scaled and cleaned, and then rinsed in cold water. And once I've done that, I dry it very well with paper towel outside and in. Now I make up a herb and spice mixture, starting with parsley. This is then mixed in a large bowl with four teaspoons of cumin, six teaspoons of paprika and two cloves of garlic, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, a pinch of salt, and a third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Once mixed well, this fabulous aromatic mixture is rubbed over the snapper on the outside and on the inside. Now I slice up a large lemon or two medium-sized lemons. On a large sheet of aluminium foil, I put half the lemon slices as a base, then the fish goes on top. I put on the remaining slices and wrap the fish thoroughly. Once done, it's baked at 180 degrees C until cooked, depending on size between 30 and 50 minutes. Now, an accompaniment for this, which I adore, is couscous. An instant variety is fine. First, I boil water, stirring in a teaspoon of oil. And while stirring, I sprinkle in the couscous. Once it's all been incorporated, I turn down the heat, sprinkle on some raisins and some roasted pine nuts, and allow to simmer. This takes just a few moments, and just before serving, I stir the couscous to incorporate the nuts and raisins. Degree of difficulty, low to medium. Time taken, well, preparation time is about 15 minutes, plus the cooking time. Leftover potential, it's beautiful cold and keeps overnight in the refrigerator. And there it is, looking as pretty as a picture, I'm sure Ron Radford would agree. Snapper baked with lemon and spice and served on a bed of couscous. The perfect wine accompaniment, a fruity white wine such as a Gewürztraminer. Australian, of course. From Consuming Passions, till next time, bon appétit.